The deadline to file taxes is April 18th. This means there is less than one week to get them done if you haven't done so already. Oh, that's right. Experts say there is some misinformation surrounding tax extensions. And Mark Stieber, our good friend, is Jackson Hewitt's chief tax information officer. He is here with uh, some tips to help you out. That's if you still need to file. Uh, Mark, good to see you, and thanks again for being with us. An exciting time. Tax refunds are flowing. Taxes are being filed. 159 hours out here on the East Coast. You guys got about 162 hours out on the West Coast. So time <laughs> oh, to get it done. Oh, it's scary when you hear those numbers there. Uh, Mark, what advice do you have for people who still haven't filed and, and need to pay their federal taxes for 2021? Well, there's a lot of them. About 60 or 70 million people have yet to file either their tax return or an extension. So don't get in the back of the bus. Get after it sooner rather than later. And this weekend, of course, is Easter. A couple of things to keep in mind as you start working up your paperwork. If you're going to file an extension, an automatic six-month extension, the 4868, just remember it's an extension of time to file your paperwork. If you owe a balance due, you have to pay that in by midnight the 18th or risk, uh, risk penalties and interest. And you have to work all that up. So by then, it's easy you're just to do your tax return. So I say this, find your documents, find your paperwork, find last year's tax return and just get it done. There's plenty of hours, plenty of new help. People are open extended even for the holiday weekend. No need to extend, but if you need to, just remember if you owe, you need to pay it or you have risk. And Mark, if you do file an extension, what benefit can taxpayers get from that extension and what might they need to know about filing for an extension? Well, to file an extension, you can do it by paperwork, you mail in the 4868, or you can file electronically. Most good pros can help you. Again, it's important to remember the benefit is really only the fact that you get to send in the paperwork up until October 17th this year. There's also a second benefit, a little bit of peace of mind that you did something, and you probably avoided the failure to file penalty, which is a big penalty if you don't send anything in. So no matter what else you do, if you don't have the money to pay and you're thinking, I just can't get to it, at least file the extension, if not your tax return, and stop that big penalty, you may still get the failure to pay penalty, but you can cut off half your penalties by just mailing in the paperwork. So do something, certainly by April 18th at midnight. Yeah, give them a sign to let them know that you're at least yeah. working uh -huh. on it there. Uh, what do taxpayers need to do if they miss the tax deadline? Well, first of all, if you're talking about this year, no need to miss it. You got plenty of hours. But if you do miss it, do it as soon as possible. The more you get it in on time, the better story you have about some hardship exemption that you might need to try to stave off any penalties or interest. So days and weeks matter. Don't just ignore it till the summer. If you're talking about last year and you missed last deadline and you haven't been notified by the IRS yet, Trust me on this, it will be coming. So you need to look at that as well and even get two for one and do it right now, file last year and this year and knock both of those out. But the deadlines for missing the payment and the filing of the tax return are pretty significant. 25% and 25%. And that can add up quicker than the size of the tax liability. Plus the money you have to pay a tax pro to clean it all up. And if you ignore it, sooner or later, they come for your money, they come for your boat, they come for your stuff. So it's not the kind of thing that you can ignore and think it'll just go away like a credit card debt or something else. So pay attention to deadlines. It is your single largest financial transaction and you've got no reason to skip it this year. And if you can't pay, there's several options, including but not limited to an IRS installment plan. They can fund you at about 4% interest rate, very reasonable. You put it over time, no reason not to pay, no reason not to file, and three out of four are getting a refund this year, and refunds are up about 10%. So really, it's time to get it done and get that money. And Mark, it's that old saying, you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> not, not from the IRS. You can run from me or the Jackson Hewitt Company, but you cannot run from the man. So mm -hmm. get it done. It's just a smarter thing to do. Yeah, well, they sure find you when they want their money, right? And you touched on it real briefly, Mark, um, but if you really can't afford to pay your tax bill on time, can you explain a little bit what some of those options might be? Well, absolutely. And here's another big tip for your viewers. When you file your taxes next year and this year, file early. When you file your taxes, you don't necessarily have to pay a balance due. Your taxes aren't due until midnight on the deadline this year, the 18th. So it's a separate transaction from filing and paying. And the penalties are separate from filing and paying. And if you file early, you'll know that you owe money. But if you can't pay, if you don't have any cash coming in and you don't have any credit left on the credit card, and you don't have anybody to borrow from, and you don't want to borrow from one of the companies that offer offer a funding product uh, to pay your taxes, you can go with the automatic IRS installment plan. The IRS has a very easy to qualify for payment plan, just like many companies. They'll put you on a time payment series over three years or five years, depending on you know how much you owe and what you select. And so the point is 
simply this. You really don't have a good reason to not pay your taxes, even if you don't have the money. The IRS will finance it, and any good tax pro can help set that up just as a part of the tax preparation. You check a couple of boxes, you pick out a couple of selections, and bang, you're paying $50 a month or $100 a month. You can write checks, you can have your bank account drafted, and you're in compliance with the law and all the good news that goes with that. Most importantly, you're just paying a little bit of interest and maybe a tiny fee, not that 25% and 25% penalty for late filing and late payment, which will be much bigger than any payment plan uh, expense that you may incur. Okay, Mark. Mark. Steber, Woo. thank you very much. What kind of brand of coffee do you drink in the morning? <laughs> I want some. <laughs> well, we're drinking a lot of coffee in these last 162 hours. I'm just going to say it. So uh, You're good, TV. Thank you so Thanks, much, man. Mark. We appreciate it. Very smart, man. Yes. Yeah, have a great yeah. day. Great week. You too. You too. He helped me out. Yeah, good information. Amber, your Lots, taxes are filed, yes. right? We already filed and we got, the, you know, the money back. <laughs>